Hello. Please, if you have not watched my last content on the nutritional requirement of broiler chicks and broiler finisher, please go and watch it. If you are a farmer and you want to produce your own feed, you want to make do it yourself feed in your farm, you need to know all the nutritional requirements of every poultry base you have or you want to you want to prepare their feed. If you don't know it, that feed may be or may not be viable or may not be rich. So you need to know every detail of that particular feed you want to prepare. So this is a very important issue in feed processing or livestock nutrition. Please, in this particular content, I know that many farmers don't know anything about turkey feed. Many farmers don't know anything about turkey feed. Because you hardly see turkey feed in the market. You hardly see it in the market. So many farmers use the same feed for chicken and give it to their turkey. It is not a very good practice at all. It's not a very good practice. Please. Turkey requires higher volume of nutrition. It requires higher level of nutrition than that of chicken. So you don't use turkey feed for chicken. I don't use chicken feed for turkey. In this particular content, I want to give you all the nutritional requirements of turkey from day old till maturity and till laying stage. Please relax. I'm going to make sure this video is a very big, bit short, but try and watch it to the end. Don't skip any tract at all because that particular tract you skip may be where the parameter for this feed may be mentioned because I'm going to dictate them for you one after the other. Please listen carefully, watch carefully and don't skip any track. If you are not a member of this particular platform, you are not part of us, please click the right button now and make yourself a bona fide member of this platform so that anytime any of the interesting topic or video is released, you'll be among the first set of people that will get notified by this particular app. And again, please, if you find this video very interesting at the end, give it a thumb up. Look for that sign, thumb up, and give it so that the network will be able to reach the other farmers that will need this video. And at the same time, you can still do more by sharing this content to all that friends, neighbors, relatives, groups, and platforms you belong so that you can get the notice and at the same time get the same knowledge you have gotten on this particular platform. Right. Now, let's start. Turkey requires higher percentage of nutrients than that of chicken. So using chicken feed, maybe use finisher for chicken or grower for chicken and feed turkey. That is why most of you lose your turkey at any stage of life because they need higher protein than that of chicken. But you, most of the times you combine them in the same brooding room and brood turkey and chicken. Yes, turkey can still stay there because they don't have the power to jump out from the, from the brooding room. They will obey you and remain there, but they will not give you that maximum result you need. So please, after watching this video, do the right thing. Turkey from zero age or from day one to eight weeks requires energy. 2,700 calories per kilogram of that particular feed. That's the energy they require. You see, that of broiler is 2,800. Broiler starter needs more of energy. You can see it. I don't want to compare them so that the video will not be too long. You see, broiler needs more of energy at starting point than that of turkey. Now, turkey needs 28% crude protein. Whereas broiler is about 23%. That is for starter. You can see it. The difference is too much. Almost 5% different. It's too high. So, you see, if you are feeding them on daily basis, they are missing 5%, 5%. Assuming you feed them for 2-3 weeks, you see, multiply that, you see that they have lost a lot of weight they're supposed to get. And that's why most of them, you don't, they don't pass 3 weeks in your hand. And you will not see them any longer. They will buy from there. So, it's better you do the right thing. Now, they need casual. 1.20%. That's 1.2% of casual. And they need phosphorus, 0.8. They need lysine, 
this is what they need. And mental you need, they need 0 0.8 and the 16, they need 0 0.86. Please, you have to follow this systematically. That's the only way you can get this right way. Then, when they pass that week 8, between week 8 and week 10, they need 3,000 calories per kilogram of energy and they need 18% to 20% crude protein. Then they need 0 0.8 calcium, 0 0.7 phosphorus. Then they need 1% of lysine and 0.87% of methionine. And 16, they need 0.87% also. Then when they pass that stage, then they get to the breeding stage. That is, they, have, they start laying eggs. When they start laying eggs, they need 2,829 to 2,300, uh, 2,030 of calories per kilogram of that particular feed. And by then, they will deserve 15% to 16% crude protein, 2.5% cashew, 0.7% phosphorus, 0.86% phosphorus, and methionine, they need 0.58 and 0.5816. And lysine, they need 1.05 lysine. All this, if you put them for them, you will see a, a very wonderful, great weight they will gather for you. That is why broiler and turkey are not the same. They deserve a higher percentage of nutrient than that of broiler and other chicken. So please apply this and you will see a very good result. Don't fail to watch other breeds and their nutritional requirements loading very soon. Share this video. Do the right thing. Bye for now.